हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सजाद एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल फार्म एंड फॉर्म टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट विच इज डिस इंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस वट इज डिस इंटीग्रेशन वट इज डिस इंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट एंड वाई वी परफॉर्म डिस इंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस विच टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स इज यूज फॉर डिस इंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ डिस इंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट ऑपरेटर्स and what is the procedure of disintegration test and what is the acceptance criteria of disintegration test so watch the complete video and be with us what is disintegration disintegration is the process in which tablets or capsules when when come in contact with fluid or water they break down into small fragments and these small fragments are helpful to release the drug so this process is known as disintegration or simply the process in which tablets or capsules when come in contact with the water or fluid break down into small fragments and these fragments pass through the mesh number 10 or 2 mm mesh leaving behind no hard mass is known as disintegration or disintegration process so what is disintegration test simply the test which is used to check that how much time is required for a specific type of tablet or capsule like core tablet coated tablet or effervescent tablets the time determination test is known as disintegration test so if we explain disintegration test same like disintegration process the disintegration is process and to check the time period of disintegration the test performed is known as disintegration test in disintegration test we place tablets or capsules in our apparatus and when they come in contact with fluid they break down into small fragments and these fragments can easily pass through the cu number 10 or 2 mm mesh leaving behind no hard mass and this process is known as disintegration test or simply this test is known as disintegration test why we perform disintegration test there are many reasons to perform disintegration test some of main reasons are disintegration test is in vitro test which is performed to ensure that our tablets are not too hard to break down or disintegrate because if tablets will be too much hard it will be very difficult to break down into the stomach and if tablet will not break down into small fragments in the stomach the drug will not be absorbed so in vitro to ensure that drug is properly released after disintegration disintegration test also give us idea about the dissolution profile because if our tablet disintegrate properly it give us idea that our disintegration profile will also be according to the required range or level and if our dissolution profile will be in the range it means bioavailability of the drug will be okay so what is the apparatus which is used for disintegration test it is most commonly asked question in different tests or interview questions the name of the apparatus used for disintegration test is basket rack assembly basket rack assembly is used for disintegration test it has two types type a dis basket rack assembly and type b basket rack assembly what is the difference between two types type a basket rack assembly is most commonly used apparatus which is used in pharmaceutical industries and it has six glass tubes type b apparatus is basically used for large size tablets and capsules and it has three glass tubes so what are the components of basket rack assembly basket rack assembly have 
following components one is basket second is disc moving shaft glass beaker water bath hmi so start from first one which is the basket basket is basically the main component of basket rack assembly it has six glass tubes and these glass tubes are hollow from upper and lower sides on the lower side it is attached with mesh or sieve which has 10 number or 2 mm mesh the length of glass tubes is 75 mm to 80 mm and these glass tubes are used to place tablets and capsules mean for which type of dosage form we want to perform test we will place if we are going to conduct our test for tablets we will place one tablet in one tube second tablet in second tube in the same way six tablets will be added in six glass tubes on lower side as we discussed earlier it has a mesh and on upper side it has a rod which is attached with the shaft on the upper side it has a long rod which is attached to the moving shaft the second component is the disc as we have discussed we have six glass tubes for for each glass tube we have one disc mean six glass tubes and six disc total number of discs in this apparatus are six these are made up of transparent plastic the thickness of each disc is 9.3 mm to 9.65 mm specific gravity is 1.18 to 1.2 of these discs the discs have each disc have five holes and each hole is equally spaced from the other hole the after placing the tablets or capsule in the glass tube we place discs over tablet or capsules and these discs prevent floating of tablets or capsules one important note is that the usage of disc is dependent on the specifications of the monograph if it is the requirement of monograph we use these discs and if it is not the requirement we do not use these discs the third part is the moving shaft as the name indicate it is the moving shaft which moves and due to its movement our basket move up and down usually it moves at the frequency of 29 to 32 cycles per minute this moving shaft is attached with the motor glass beaker it has a glass beaker of capacity 1000 ml or 1 liter and we take immersion fluid up to the level of 900 ml the height of glass beaker is 138 mm to 160 mm and the immersion fluid inside the glass beaker is kept at the temperature of 37 plus minus 2 degree centigrade the fifth component is the water bath or glass water bath also known as reservoir we do not place beaker which contain immersion fluid directly on the heating medium rather we use water bath mean we do not supply direct heat to the beaker we use water bath and place our beaker into the glass water bath and glass water bath maintain the temperature of immersion fluid between 37 plus minus 2 degree centigrade it has a hmi human machine interference mean okay this component is has basically touch screen or different buttons which are used to start our process stop our process to adjust the temperature and it also has a timer or stopwatch which give us idea about the disintegration time or in how much time our tablets are disintegrated now the last second last one is the procedure or how we perform disintegration test very importantly disintegration test is performed in a very simple and 
बेसिक मैनर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी प्लेस इमर्शन फ्लूड और वाटर बेसिकली इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री यूजली वी एड वाटर बट इफ वी एड इमर्शन फ्लूड वी ब्रिंग इट्स टेम्परेचर टिल थर्टी सेवन प्लस माइनस टू डिग्री डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड वन आवर टेम्परेचर वेन आवर टेम्परेचर इज अचीव्ड वी टेक सिक्स टैबलेट्स एंड ईच टैबलेट इज प्लेस्ड इन ईच ट्यूब मीन सिक्स ट्यूब्स आर फिल्ड विद सिक्स टैबलेट्स और कैप्सूल्स ईच ट्यूब कंटेनिंग वन टैबलेट देन डिस्क आर प्लेस्ड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ मोनोग्राफ then our basket is attached to the moving shaft and we press the start button when we press the start button the shaft moves down and our basket dip into the immersion fluid then it's come upward and downward this motion continue with the frequency of 29 to 32 cycles per minute one important point to keep in mind is that during up and down movements of basket rack assembly the distance or there are some specifications during downward movements the sieve should remain descent in the fluid not less than 25 mm mean whenever basket goes down in the beaker if suppose this is the beaker and whenever basket comes down it should keep the distance of 25 mm from the bottom the distance should not be less than not less than 25 mm mean this distance from bottom to the sieve which is attached below the below side of the uh, glass tube the distance should be 25 mm and when it's come upward if we have the fluid level up till now the the sieve should remain immer immersed or it should remain inside 15 mm mean on upward stroke the sieve should remain 15 mm below the fluid it is very confusing statement for simple words when we when our basket comes down the bottom or the sieve attach with the lower side of tube should descend not less than 25 mm and when it comes up it should remain immersed in fluid and it should remain below the surface of 15 mm it should not come out of the surface of fluid on upward stroke rather it should remain immersed minimum distance of 15 mm if you have any confusion or you are not able to understand these statements you can read the link given in in the description in the link the article is available to describing all these statements i have tried to explain it but if you have any confusion you can read it from the article the link is given in the description the last one is the results or what is the acceptance criteria uh, the disintegration test is considered pass if all tablets disintegrates into the in a required time period which is described in the specifications or monographs but the statement or the relaxation is that if one or two tablet fail to disintegrate in first attempt we repeat the test with twice the number of tablets mean first of all we perform test with six tablets and if five tablets are disintegrated into the given or required time period if take the example of core tablets the required time period should be 15 minutes if five tablet disintegrate in 14 minutes and the one tablet disintegrate in 17 minutes then the test will not be considered fail 
we will repeat it with 12 tablets and first we will repeat 6 tablet then 6 tablet and then 6 tablet so total number of tablets will be the 18 so if 16 tablets out of 18 disintegrate within 15 minutes our test will be considered pass if more than if if less than 16 tablets disintegrate in given period of time our test will be considered fail so we will make adjustment and will perform the test again hope you are now clear with the concept for that if you like the video subscribe our channel share to others for the next video allah hafiz